Welcome to the world of iconic TV series, where strength, justice, and lasso-wielding heroism converge. Wonder Woman, the 1975 television classic, introduced audiences to the Amazonian princess Diana Prince, portrayed by the remarkable Linda Carter. With its timeless charm and groundbreaking portrayal of a female superhero, Wonder Woman left an indelible mark on popular culture. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on a particular scene or moment from this series that continues to resonate with you? Perhaps it's the empowering sight of Wonder Woman deflecting bullets with her bracelets, or the genuine camaraderie among the diverse characters. The show, with its mix of action, drama, and a touch of humor, has etched memorable images into the minds of viewers worldwide. Now, let's unravel some lesser-known facts that add a layer of fascination to Wonder Woman's legacy. Did you know that Linda Carter performed many of her own stunts, contributing to the authenticity of the character? It's a testament to her dedication to bringing Wonder Woman to life beyond the scripted lines and choreographed scenes. As we delve into the mystique of this groundbreaking series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Wonder Woman. Was it a family gathering around the television to witness Diana Prince's heroic exploits? Or perhaps a moment when the show inspired you in an unexpected way? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Wonder Woman, with its iconic moments and behind-the-scenes tales, continues to be a cultural touchstone. So, what's your Wonder Woman story? In different episodes of the 1975 TV series, Queen Hippolyta was portrayed by Cloris Leachman, Beatrice Strait, and Carolyn Jones. Notably, Leachman and Strait were both Academy Award winners, while Jones was a nominee. The show featured a recurring dog character named Tiger, who appeared in the episode The Girl from Islandia. Interestingly, Tiger also played Fluffy in Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Additionally, a few villains crossed over from the comic books to the TV series. Fosta Grables, Morgana, and Baroness Paula von Gunther were the only ones to make the transition. Notably absent were popular villains like Cheetah, Circes, Dr. Poison, Ares, and Dr. Psycho, who never made an appearance in this TV series. These intriguing facts provide a glimpse into the diverse cast and characters of the 1975 Wonder Woman series. The show not only showcased talented actresses portraying Queen Hippolyta, but also introduced unique elements like the shared presence of Tiger and the exclusive selection of comic book villains. This blend of characters contributed to the show's distinctiveness and left a mark on its viewers. In a surprising turn of events a decade earlier, Lyle Wagoner, known for his role in the 1975 TV series, had screen tested for the iconic role of Bruce Wayne, Batman in the Batman series, but lost out to Adam West. Fast forward to the Wonder Woman series, and Linda Carter, the star of the show, faced an unusual challenge in the episode titled The Bushwhackers. Co-star Roy Rogers objected to her star-spangled costume, deeming it too provocative for a Western-themed episode. As a result, Diana underwent a wardrobe change, swapping her iconic outfit for a more conservative red lawn sleeve shirt and white lawn pants while staying at Hadley's Ranch. Notably, the show had its share of unfilmed episodes. One such instance was the episode titled The Velvet Touch, which involved toxic makeup. This episode never made it to the screen because Linda Carter, the lead actress, was a spokesperson for Maybelline, creating a conflict of interest. These behind-the-scenes tidbits offer a unique glimpse into the challenges and decisions surrounding the production of the 1975 TV series. From lost opportunities a decade prior to wardrobe adjustments on set, the journey of Wonder Woman on screen is marked by intriguing anecdotes that contribute to the show's distinctive history. Linda Carter, famed for her portrayal, had an unexpected start. Before donning the iconic outfit, she initially faced rejection during auditions for the role. However, fate took a turn, and she secured her place as the leading lady in the series. This significant moment set the stage for the captivating journey that unfolded on screen. Despite the initial setback, Carter's embodiment of the character became emblematic and left an indelible mark on the series. Her journey from audition room to embodying an iconic superhero became the cornerstone of the show's success, resonating with audiences worldwide. Warner Bros. sought to expand the Wonder Woman universe with spin-offs. Deborah Winger declined a Wonder Girl series for more serious roles. Similar series proposals for Julie Ann Haddock, 
Cheryl Lee Ralph, and Bob Seagren didn't make the cut. Interestingly, the original Charlie's Angels actors auditioned for Wonder Woman, while Linda Carter herself vied for an angel role. Also, intriguingly, the show used Star Trek sound effects for electronic and computer sounds. These lesser-known facets showcased the depth and potential of the series beyond its iconic lead character, revealing the studio's attempts at expanding its superhero universe. The crossover of actors in auditions and behind-the-scenes sound production ties to another legendary show. The portrayal of Wonder Woman on the TV series diverged significantly from her comic book origins. Unlike the comics where her powers stemmed from Amazon training or divine gifts, the show relied on a magic belt to maintain her abilities away from Paradise Island. Comic-wise, removing her bracelets would trigger loss of control, but the show often had her do so without consequence. These deviations showcased a distinct interpretation of the iconic character adding a unique flavor to her on-screen persona. The contrast in power sources between the show and the comics offered viewers a fresh perspective on the character's abilities and limitations, creating a notable departure from the traditional Wonder Woman lore. Lyle Wagoner, recognized for his role in the iconic series, took on a surprising off-screen role as the mayor of Encino, California during the show's production. His dual responsibilities as an actor and a public official provided a unique dynamic behind the scenes. Wagoner's contribution to both the entertainment industry and local governance shed light on the multifaceted lives led by those involved in the series. This unconventional overlap of showbiz and civic duty offers a compelling angle to understand the diverse roles assumed by individuals associated with the production, showcasing a lesser known aspect of the show's behind the scenes narrative. Lyle Wagoner once reflected on the series, highlighting its peak during its earlier ABC run in the 1940s. When the show transitioned to the 1970s after moving to CBS, the shift in setting affected its reception, leading to a decline in ratings. Wagoner speculated that had the show continued its fight against Nazis, its success might have been sustained over a longer period. This shift in setting and time frame significantly impacted the show's audience appeal, signaling a pivotal change in its trajectory. As we bid adieu, let's traverse back to the vibrant realms of an iconic series that captivated hearts, the one that brought to life a legendary heroine, instilling inspiration and courage. Reflect on the moments that stirred your emotions, the scenes that etched themselves into your memory, perhaps the valor in her stance or the resonance of her unwavering spirit. Let your thoughts unfurl like petals of nostalgia. Share the instances where Wonder Woman's embodiment of strength and compassion resonated with your own life's journey. Whether it was the allure of her lasso of truth or the resonance of her guiding wisdom, her impact was profound and timeless. Your reflections are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and its ability to transcend eras resonating across generations. As you delve into your treasury of memories, consider sharing them with fellow enthusiasts, fostering a collective celebration of this beloved series. Thank you for gracing this moment of reflection with your presence. Your connection to Wonder Woman adds another layer to the rich tapestry of its legacy. Here's to the moments that continue to inspire and the stories that endure. Gratefully, 